Well, before we start the video today, everybody, check out the Carolina Reapers, Maruga Scorpions, and uh, the Red Habaneros are in here. They're hotter than the uh, Orange Habanero. And Jay's something. Yeah, Jay's, it's called Jay's Ghost Pepper. Ghost Peppers. So there's Ghost Peppers, Scorpion Peppers, and Carolina Reapers. Yesterday it was just terrible. It rained all day. I didn't get anything done. I didn't get over here to do day seven. So this is really day eight, but it's day seven. So stayed at home because it was raining. Back the furniture out here to film. It was fun. I was on Johnny's Johnny uh, Cajun reseller show. I was on Victoria's show and started. They had a Larry show. My finally got my live stream or my camera working on there so I digress but uh, I'm in here I want to try to bring you some I'm going to show you the money again today I hope I did go in there and I put a light bulb in and uh, we'll get into that but uh, the first box I found is this box of DVDs all the way to the bottom as you can see well I can see it from here they're all in there uh, so these are, that's the money right there. Here's an old plush. This is Cole's Care Bears. Uh, I imagine he's worth a little bit to somebody that sells plush. Then we got this old car. I don't think it's that old. No, it takes batteries, so. There's a wallet. A wallet. I love battered wallets, especially when they got something in them. Yeah, it's a nice wallet. I'm afraid it's an empty wallet. Or is it? Is this wallet empty? Oh, yes, it is very empty. Dr. Seuss, a phone book. We got this dinosaur. I don't know if he has any value. Yeah, I know the books do. Phone book, no. Oh, guy just ejected from his seat. I guess he was an alien or something. No, he's flying backwards. Just some toys. Uh, okay, there's this guy with his pants down. Uh, Disney. I don't know who this guy is, but whatever Horton here's a who who here's a Horton oh bubbles wait a minute wait a minute bouncy turd a few. oh god you don't want to see this crap come on Mark stacker you got to find something better than that we're gonna turn this video off like real quick I don't want you to do that yet all right, this box here, wait a minute, is that Captain America? Oh, it's a shield, I think it does put batteries in it as well. Okay, there's, oh, those are some uh, chalk you on the sidewalk. All right, this box is kind of a fail. Wait a minute, oh. A rolling piano. <laughs> Power. Yeah, oh. just got in this box here. Got to turn the camera on. Imagine that, a YouTuber forgetting to turn the camera on. I think this is gone. Is that Rhett Butler and Scarlett O'Hara? Cause I found some pictures from that movie here in this unit. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, these are personal pictures here. Oh boy. Wait a minute, what's that? Yeah, these are personal pictures. So, this is the only thing. It's a limited edition, Gone with the Wind. Yeah, I was right. They only made 750. I'll have to look that up. All right, day seven. I dug out a 
I dug out this really nice media center. I've showed you in there, but you couldn't really see it. So it's out here in the light. It's dirty. It's been in storage for three years, but it's solid. You put whatever you want in there, all your games. And uh, I believe that's what they were using it for. TV, games, all of the above. Uh, that is going to be a nice chunk of change. It's got the piano hinges on the side, and thank God it was not a piano. It was made in 06, so this isn't old, but it is an armoire top black. Okay, it's the top of an armoire. Okay. I guess that is, okay, there's another piece that goes with it then. And here's this chair. Once this is cleaned up and I get that couch out and we clean that up, that's a $500 set. This is, this is leather. Oh my God. Oh, you don't get this old leather like this anymore. That's nice. I think we're getting down to where the last boxes are going to be seen today so this could be the finale and the rest is just going to be labor i'll probably do a follow-up at some point i guess i don't know but at this point i can't see me doing day eight this is going to be day seven and on the seventh day i did rest yesterday because i couldn't get over here now i'm back and i've got to look for something today to make the climax of this unit this mini series great otherwise it's going to be a <coughs> climax we don't want that. so let's keep looking okay this is the top it's an armoire can you be used for a media center but uh let me show you i found the other piece i don't know if you can see it back here i did put a bulb in but there's the drawers to the armoire right there. That piece out there goes on top of this piece. That's going to be a $200, maybe more, set. Then we got another really nice piece here. I'm not sure what you call that, but everything she had was nice. And I'll have to sell that piece out of the unit or put it on the roof of my car, my van. So I'm just using this storage here for now because I can't sell everything at one time. So we have to take everything home and clean it up. But I can at least get this home today. And uh, that'll be a start. Yeah, I just talked to the owner, or the uh, manager. And he said the lady whose locker I bought came in to pay the bill. <laughs> and he said, your stuff's been sold. And she's like, oh, God, I just didn't, I forgot. Well. She would have gotten three months worth of notices, but I digress. I, it's not like I don't have any sympathy. He wanted to know if I wanted her number or I said, no, <laughs> I do not want to call. You never contact former owners. So here's what you do. I told him, and this is what we ended up doing, deciding I'm going to leave anything I find in this unit, like photographs, personal paperwork, anything that I discover, I'm sure I won't find everything, but I'm going to leave her as much as I can. But she can pick that up at the end of May. I will be out of here, but I don't want to have anybody come in here like that. That's you just, you never, that's rule number one never contact former owners. Some people were on the internet a while back talking about doing stuff like that and making videos about it, but I think it's dangerous. So, my suggestion to you is do not do that offer to give back personal items uh any anything that like pictures videos home videos and i'm gonna leave all that stuff i've, I've already started a pile over here so that's just a little tip well this would be anti-climatic but it's a nice big 20 dollar cake plate <laughs> a cake plate it's a freaking cake. All right, somebody will want it. 20 bucks is 20 bucks. We're going to try to find the good stuff, though. We haven't given I haven't given up yet. Did I say this? I haven't given up yet. I'm not going to give up. Nope. All just, right, nope. I just found this. I have not opened it up. Yes, I could have. I get it. But let's play along anyway, and I haven't opened it up. 
play along. This is a really old looking box. I have not looked in it. It is probably crap, but let's see. Mm. Oh, well, we've just found a sterling ring. Yeah, that's 925. There it is. We got sterling. Now, what else could be in here, guys? That's only worth a few bucks, but let's keep digging. Oh. Oh, I was hoping that was gold. Yeah, it wouldn't look like that if it was gold. Doesn't mean it doesn't have value, though. Oh, wait a minute. It's a jewelry. Here's another ring. <gasps> Sterling. Look at that. Oh my god, there's a gold looking ring. All right, we got another sterling ring. All right. Uh, this is pretty. Don't know if it's gold or not yet. I have to test this. Not all gold is marked, but this is looking a little bit too shiny. Just a little bit. Yeah, this is not gold, but it's pretty. So we got two sterlings. And a pretty ring. So this, it wasn't a bad little box to, I'm still kind of intrigued about this though. So I'm going to have to check that out. Alright guys, I'm going through the kitchen stuff that she had in the back. I found three sterling utensils, about an ounce of silver. That's good, but, but, the rest is not. So, we're still looking. There's a few more boxes, but we have a couple boxes to go. Another box of DVDs and CDs. Yeah, there's a VHS. Halloween. Jamie Lee Curtis. That was a good movie. It was mindless, but it was a good, entertaining movie. So, as we get in here, we find this. Now, there's only a couple of boxes left. So, before I go into there, whether there's any gold or not, this locker is worth about an ounce and a half of gold. Maybe, maybe, maybe an ounce and three quarters. So we were able to pan out, because you can turn cash, you can turn paper into gold. So, this locker here will net us close to two ounces of gold and um but i haven't given up i'll be right back for the close of this mini series all right y'all i want to thank everybody that's watched this mini series and expect me to do these kind again because i'm i'm flat out loving the fact that i can get seven maybe another video if i but look seven videos out of this and i am now at the last box i'm gonna open it this is the last bit of mystery the rest is a lot of money in furniture and i sell furniture so that's great like i said we've got we're pushing two ounces of gold that we've panned out of this because you can turn paper to gold i've told you guys that and you realize that i'm right they still take paper for gold remember that take advantage of that but you have to have you have to have paper because we're running in a paper fiat system right now and you've got to be able to have a little bit of paper to run in the system but anyway that's another that's the stacker part of me i have like my dad he was called a jack of all trades you know maybe a jackass of all trades at times but i love my dad and i miss him but he was considered to be a jack of all trades. And I kind of take after him. I, when I laugh, I hear my dad. That's how I bring him back. When I find something extremely funny and I laugh, I hear him. And uh, so I kind of, in the same way, sarcastic. I'm sorry, storage. I do storage. Stacker, I do that. I do quite a bit of different things, and I try to bring different things to this channel. But this i am going to bring the last box of this mini series and if it's a dud just remember 
this whole thing has been great. So this is the last box. If there's going to be a cache of gold, on the spot gold, not I got to go out and buy it. This will be it. Will this be really anticlimactic? Let's manifest this. Come on, be a jewelry box in here. It's not marked anything. Could that be on purpose? This was in the farthest one in the back. Oh no. Oh no. Yes. It's terrible. It's terrible. Well, thanks for coming. <laughs> That would have been too cool, but anyway, guys, thanks. <laughs> the last box was a freaking nut. But I've got this for the whole of the whole month of May, and I'm gonna take my time. Today I'm taking home the Anwar top. One of the on there's two giant Anwars in here. Here's another one. I haven't even got down yet. Frickin' washer dryer. I'll get probably a hundred for that set because it's old. But you don't want to hear about that. You wanted to see the goodies. I didn't deliver that, but I did deliver a freaking knockout locker, and I am going to buy more of these. I know, I know what to look for, and I have. A lot of times in the past, I haven't bought these because they were kind of so overwhelming. But now, the way to get around that is just, just buck up and rent the unit, work out of it. Just hopefully you can get one close to home, and that's what I've got here. I don't even have to get on a main road to get here. I'm three miles away so I want to thank everybody that's watched this mini series and uh, I've got uh, a really serious heat challenge coming up soon with the Toa Satan I'm only like 20 subs away I mean in it I could be there tomorrow it just depends if I hit a snowball you hit snowballs on these channels so thanks again like the video please subscribe it's over down there and share these videos to your Facebook send them out it'll help a ton you just don't do not know how much that helps and I want to thank you all again I'm gonna finish up here I'm gonna go home and edit video eat and uh, thanks again I will see you on the chats I'll see you in the videos and I am Currently in the process of getting my stream yard set up. I've been on some live streams. I was on Larry Larry the Stash for the first time. I, I, I thought it was very fitting that I go on Larry's first because he was the first one to ask me to come on. And Philly Flipper, to be fair, he was the second. And uh, Victoria, I believe she was right up there with the rest of them. She's great. She's great. So thanks again. See you. See you today, probably. Have a good one.